Hi, this is Shannon with Chic and Sassy Nails by Shannon. We are doing another summer mani. I know I've got we've gotten fall sets and we've gotten a very fall um, subscription box for August. Um, and I'm really excited to do fall and to actually have fall weather, but it is a heat wave here in Minnesota. Um, it's a heat advisory each day and tomorrow. Very hot and super duper humid. Um, I just couldn't get myself to do a new enough a fall mani. So we are going back um, to some retired sets to do another uh, summer mani. Uh, we might do a couple. I might have to do a couple in summer mani still yet in September too. Uh, one is for our trip. We are going to go to um, Los Cabos, Mexico for the Color Street incentive trip. Um, my husband and I are going in September for that. So let me know if you've been to Cabo um, and if there are any things you recommend doing or seeing, um, excursions or restaurants, anything like that. Um, I did make reservations at a uh, restaurant that looks like a, it's, well, it's like a fancy restaurant, but it's a farm to table restaurant there that's on its own farm in the middle of the desert um that has a pretty cool story i heard that one is called acre restaurant so we're going there for sure um recommended for my friend otherwise we are at an all-inclusive so we probably might just stay at the hotel for food wise the rest of the time but if there's little any areas that we should check out for like shopping or um we might try to do like a boat tour out to the arch. Uh, if you have a company you've done and recommended, let me know. I'm interested in hearing. Um, let's get back to the mani a little bit. I am putting, I'm still playing with sheer sets. So after I did, played around with the ribbon sets, the um, girls trip and feeling zesty, I realized that I really haven't played them too much with some of our sheer set other sheer sets that we've had um and this is wing woman and i have never worn it i don't think so um i really don't remember wearing it so maybe i did a long time ago but it, it is an old set so i am wearing i am putting an orange layer of um i should have looked at what orange this is called again because i can't remember um uh, orange zest on a couple nails and then I'm doing the other three with uh, sunny days and then I'm going to put the sheer wing woman over it so wing woman was just back in one of our vault sales or something if I don't remember that if I remember that correctly I can't remember how long ago though but I know many people have it or can get their hands on it um man i forget how much i love this these original all these jelly sets i should wear some of these just by themselves sometime so my prep work i did i do have a uh, color street nail strengthener and color street ridge filler um as a base yesterday i did um all my cuticle care and used our uh Nail Strengthening Serum and Cuticle Cream that I did that yesterday. And then I am, excuse me, I am just getting to the nails today. So I, like I said, Cabo's coming up. Yeah, give me some tips if you have any. Uh, this is Sunny Days. Again, I've been using the, I tried this out with the uh orange not orange zest this is uh feeling zesty the orange ribbon set and it is gorgeous so if you haven't seen that video check that out um when i was playing around with those ribbon sets but this is a good i liked it as a base for that so i'm hoping i'll like it with this as well um with this sheer set but it has the pink and purple so i'm hoping um yeah, I think it'll still look good. And I 
like I said, I've been getting, oh, we're having a big launch tomorrow of the Melt Away Cleansing Balm. So I am going to, I've been doing, uh, trying to do some videos and photos showing how well that works. So even if you're not a makeup person, it is a cleansing balm, so it can be used as an everyday cleanser. I really got a big bubble in this. Hold on. Ah! I don't think I can save that one. Oh, it's going to have a line in it. How did I do that? Oh my goodness. That's okay. Um, that is going to have a line because I... I'm not going to take that off. So, Melt Away Cleansing Balm comes out tomorrow. It is a balm, uh, which I'd never used a cleansing balm in my life. But it basically what it is, it's like it's the consistency if you've used a solid form of coconut oil. And then as you heat it up, it uh, liquefies. So it is, you just use, I just use a small amount because I don't use a ton of makeup. Um, I guess if you have a full face um, you probably would need to use a little bit more, but it is a, um, let's see, hold on. My color is a little weird here. Let me see. Let's see if I can get it warmer. Okay. Um, it is the consistency of coconut oil. And what you do is you add a little bit. There's a little scoop it comes with in the top and then you, um, put a little on. You can warm it up, rub it into your hands to warm it up first. Um, and then you kind of start rubbing it. Ugh. I am having a heck of a time putting on solids on this finger today because these cream solids and then having a base coat is like on is killing me because it's not like adjustable. So I have these big creases in here. Um, creams solids are not my friend today these are the hardest ones to apply anyway so i usually don't have this much difficulty so let's start slow i need to slow down gently stretch it out and i need to be more careful i still got a little oh that one came out okay that was better if i like focus on what i'm doing i can Okay, sorry. I needed to take a little bit of focus break for that. Um, still have a little wrinkle here. I think I can. It'll be fine. Um, so you take, once you kind of warm it up and it starts to liquefy, you rub it um, all over your face. Um, you can rub it on your eyelids. You need to keep your eyes closed, obviously. I don't recommend getting it in your eyes. Um, like with any cleaning product, you want to get your mascara off. Um, I rub gently on my eyes and I get my eyebrows and my face and your lips wherever you have makeup. Um, and then you take a little, then you get a little bit of water on your fingertips or on your fingers and then rub the water into the, um, the cleansing balm that's on your face and it emulsifies. It gets, starts to get a little creamy, uh, milky white, uh, and then you just keep rubbing that in until you get all the makeup removed and then you rinse i just like rinse with water like warm water in the sink like just like splash water on my face uh rinse that off and then um pat dry with a clean i just use a clean a clean washcloth or hand towel or whatever and that is all it is fix your it's all your makeup off People have been writing with Sharpies on their face, which is just not my jam, but, um, and it does take Sharpies off. So it takes lots of stuff off. So it is a good cleaner, uh, if you use makeup or if you don't, but I, uh, and it doesn't leave your skin feeling dry or it's like nice and soft and smooth and seems moisturized you can continue with your regular skincare uh, regimen if you have one so i do use um look at that that's a big bump um i do use rodan and fields um so depending on the time of the day i'm doing it i may or may not use 
continue with those products that I normally use. It just depends. And again, I um, have been trying to try out the new um, eyeshadow palettes too to show those off a little bit and get used to wearing. Um, I don't wear a lot of eyeshadow normally. I do like the look, so ooh, I'm not opposed to it. I am just new to it, I guess. So, But I've been trying to put some darker eyeshadow on to show what it looks like and then to use to actually it shows up better when I'm showing off the balm cleanser because when I use a neutral like my normal everyday look for makeup it doesn't look like I have makeup on so then it doesn't really look like a you can't really tell like a before and after with the cleansing balm so I think later today I will try to do the red palette for, um, that's what she used. I think she used the red palette when she did my eye makeup for conference. I had somebody help me with my hair and makeup and I think it was the reds. I don't really know what she used. She might've used the, no, I think it was the reds. I'll have to look cause I actually haven't opened it and to see if since then, so I should be able to tell if it's been used. This is like stuck to my skin. I think I got um, either ridge filler on my skin here and the little nail strip is sticking to it. Okay. Well, that one is smooth at least versus some of these other ones. Um, Yeah. So I highly recommend the balm. I am doing a special uh, two free sets. If you order a balm Monday, th it launches tomorrow, Monday at 1030 AM central time. I'm going to do a special through Friday in my VIP group. So check that out and then um, be sure. Oh, be sure to like and subscribe because you, if you haven't done that on here, I always forget to mention that. And then if you don't have a stylist, please, you're welcome to join my VIP group. I have uh, links and the names and all that stuff in the comments, but I am She Can Sassy Nails by Shannon on Instagram on Facebook world, all sorts of places. So, or she can sassy nails. Just depends. Oh, I got a little bump here. What is that? Like I said, these cream solids are not being my friend today, but we will move on because it is just a base. So I'm excited to see what, I tried to look for an example of either of these sets with winged woman and I couldn't find it but it was a quick search. So it may be out there. I just haven't seen it. I'm hoping this isn't too limey orange and it doesn't look bad. They're not limey orange, limey yellow. Cause it is like yellow, but it's like that really light. So this is not looking the cleanest right here either. So, um, I can't wait. We're going to add the winged woman next. So I didn't open those up just so they didn't get any extra dry. So we're going to take, so I have a full set. I actually didn't check. I mean, this is, this has been open, so I must have done a sheerness test to show, um, to everybody. So we'll just take out all of these and one of these, that one. All right, that is my method. Two thumbs. I think I have too many. One, two. No, I don't. That's good. Okay, sorry. Oh, sometimes I like am recording these and I look at my, the app I use to record and sometimes I freak out because I think it's not recording. <laughs> ah, oh, one time I did, or I started a couple times. No, I think it was once I started a video and I don't have, didn't have my microphone on, so it didn't have any sound. So that's always fun. Fun technical difficulties like that. Sometimes it's nail issues, like with these cream solids, and sometimes it's technical or internet issues. So that's a thing. All right, so we're going to see how wing wing woman 
looks. Do you see how sheer that is? It's amazing. It's a beautiful butterfly glittery set. I hope this shows up enough on the orange. I know it's dark. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. It's so shimmery and pretty. I love it. Now I'm going to be sad I didn't do it all over orange. That's gorgeous. So this is basically a super sheer pink with a like gold dust. And then when you, so when you, it warms anything up and then it, well, then it's a design. God, we need more of these to play around with, don't we? Fun, sheer designs like this. I didn't trim my nails because they were pretty short. So they haven't grown out too much yet. But I did, I did refile them. So hopefully they are good. Sometimes I uh, don't do the best job and then I have to reshape after I do my mani, after I look at them. All right, so my plan is to do two the two ombres next, and then one with the orange and one with the yellow, and then, so I did plan this out, much to people may be surprised, because sometimes I totally don't plan. Yes, I like this. I don't know why I haven't worn this yet. Or if I have, I don't recall doing it. There are tons, so many sets. I just don't, don't have time to do my nails every day. And I really should. <laughs> I know I should, I should do it way more than I do. That is gorgeous though so if you haven't <sighs> la, la, la. love it okay I'm gonna let that I should cut the big this part off that's gonna bug me but let the other parts cure a little bit I'm so bad at that um here there was a little part that it went over my cuticle I do I do want that off I'm a little crooked All right, let's see if I can get that cleaned off nice and neat there. Man, that's pretty together. So again, I'm doing orange zest under these two nails and sunny days under the other three with wing woman on top. And I'm loving the mix. Okay, let's see here. Other ombre strip. And then butterflies. What did I do? Oh, I didn't clean that off. I can feel it sticking to my skin. All right. Oh, it is also state fair season here in Minnesota. I'm, uh, I'm not sure what other states do huge state fairs. I know Iowa does. Um... I don't know. Does every state do big state fairs? State fair here started last Thursday, runs through, lab through Labor Day. I will probably not be going this year because my kids really don't like to go and my husband doesn't really like to go. Um, and I only like to go for the food. So we did a preview to the fair in May. Um, and that was fun. And I got my food fixed. So we're probably going to take the kids want to go to the Renaissance Fair, the Renaissance Festival here, which I don't want to actually have to deal with all the people, crowds, and like parking, leaving the parking lot and stuff. This is short. I went too low. I wonder if I'll be able to get this to work. <gasps> all right. Oh, it's too short. 
Do I just do it? Because it's like barely too short. I think I will and I'll just trim off the tip of my nail. Because I don't want to go open another set or another strip for this since I already sealed it up. Look at it, it's like a millimeter too short and I will um, see if I can file that or just clip it off later. Funny. Okay, if I wouldn't have laid that over my proximal fold at the bottom, I think it would have been fine. My bad. Okay, so you can see the difference in the colors on these. So it's definitely a more pale base with the sunny days. But I wanted to kind of mix it up and try different sets. I should have maybe gone a brighter yellow. I could have done... I only had a couple of the banana bonanza strips and because it's an accent pack it doesn't have a thumb so that was the only issue with that one is doing that under it is that there was not a thumb for that but i could have done the orange next time i have enough nails of this to do the orange and the banana next maybe or in a different so Maybe this winter when I'm like getting sick of dark nails, I'll do a fun summer mani in the middle of winter because I really don't tend to stick with the seasons um, really super well. I do wear a lot of dark nails, so it tends to be more wintry looking, but I do like a good pink and purple and stuff, so... I should wear, I had white on up until the other day, yesterday, and I did like that set a lot. That was soft serve. I wore it, I wore it long enough for it to crack, which doesn't usually happen for me, um, but I did like it. My kids liked that I did Baymax nails, so that was my Disney-inspired set, uh, Manny, I did. And I uh, re-watched Baymax, uh, sorry, the movie's called Big Hero 6. I did watch it, rewatch it last night because I hadn't seen it since we originally watched it. And I think it was 10 years ago uh, when it came out. So my kids were little and now they're not little anymore. They're going into, both going to be in high school this year. I have a senior and a freshman. It's crazy. We had our first... Uh, Got a couple things at the school. We had like a back to school day where they had to go get their uh, picture, their yearbook pic. Well, their pictures taken uh, for like the what's it called student IDs and um, the underclassmen. That's their yearbook picture, and then. But seniors get to submit their senior pictures, which I've done one round. If you didn't know, I'm also a photographer. Um, I've done round, one round of senior pictures for my daughter. And then she, uh, we did with her long hair. And then she cut it to like chin length or just like about her shoulders. No, it's like chin length, I think. Maybe a little longer than the chin, but not touching her shoulders. And I wanted, so we wanted to do one with long hair, because that's how she's had it for years. But then we're going to do a fall session when it cools off, where she can wear, like, sweaters and stuff um, with her short hair. But now she's saying she wants to use one of those for the yearbook. Oh, this is really short. Dang it. All right. I don't think I can... You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to fill that in. Hold on. I'm going to cut the point off of this and try to make a little curve. Oh, except it's like not cooperating. And I'm going to make a little tip. Instead of having yellow show, because 
once that cures and I get some uh, what's it called over it the top coat over it it will not show up too bad and then it will be functional It'll, it won't bug me all right so sorry senior pictures back to school stuff what else oh we just needed a little bit of back to school supplies not a big deal did a little bit of back to school shopping we just went they wanted to thrift shop so we did that in downtown or like uptown Minneapolis area and then we did what else have we done oh we had a theater kickoff meeting my oldest is involved in theater tech and is trying to recruit my youngest to participate as well in to, to have something to get to know people and have an activity in high school and i think they'd actually like set building and possibly doing some of the tech stuff tia does lights um but who knows what they're gonna like and then yeah so it's getting to be end of summer we're making a couple family plans this summer or for the end of the summer here but we have not done too much this summer because uh we didn't do a vacation or anything and he has just been working ah, sorry pretty low-key summer for us Here we go. I never use, I don't usually use the thumb. I took out two thumb ones. So my nail, I know my nails are getting longer than I like when I can't get as, when there's, I can't get two nails out of one strip. Apparently I have long nail beds because it's not like they're very long. Like this way. It's not a ton of free edge, but it is long enough I could trim it, but I will trim it next time. Apparently, I'll trim my one nail. Yeah, that might not bug me. That's like barely a sliver. And this one will be fine. See, it bugs me that I like try to let the edges cure and it drives me nuts um, when I wrap it over. I'm not very good at letting it sit there till it cures. I always pick at it. All right, so we have a mix of wing woman with the light and with the dark. Now I'm digging the dark better, but that's life. We'll take some pictures if I decide to change it. Yeah, I don't know. I'll probably just leave this and then just do a new Manny in a few days because and no, and then learn that I want to do the orange under it again. So I've seen a ton of this Manny over blue and it's super pretty because it turns it purple and then you get these pretty purple and pinks. Um, but I've seen a lot of that. So I wanted to go a different direction and try and I know lots of people got sunny days um as one of the mystery sets because they sent a lot of them out I know I have a ton so I wanted to use that as the base and see what that looked like and I don't hate it it's just it doesn't pop like the orange it's not awful but it's not my favorite so trying to I do like the sunny days over the uh, feeling zesty or under the feeling zesty a ton and would totally do that again with that color because I'm pretty sure I have enough left. So there you go. Mixing and matching a little bit to look at these um, the sheer sets. This is a base of orange zest, a base of sunny days with wing woman over all of it. All right, there you go. Have a great day or night. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.